Hey guys, I finally have a cool day. I'm normally not down here on Mondays unless I leave my iPad here on a Sunday, but it's in the 60s today and I'm loving it because there's no way that I could be having a brand new chainsaw sitting in my garage for three more days without me using it. So I'm very grateful that today it's cooled down and we could try out my new tool slash toy. I got the Husqvarna Power Axe. Let me show you that beast right there. When I first was gonna get a chainsaw, I couldn't decide if I wanted the gas or the battery. And then at the very last minute, I went for the gas one. But now I have both and I don't have to worry. And I've been waiting, I haven't started this thing up yet. I do know the battery is charged. I don't have it in a box, so I can't unbox it. I went to our local mom and pop shop and their price was the same as if I was to go to Lowe's. But because our mom and pop shop is an authorized Husqvarna dealer, they were able to give me the deals that they had on the website. So I got a $300 battery for free, which is winning because I don't wanna be cutting away with that. The battery dies enough to wait for it to charge. Nope, I already have one to go. And being mom and pop shops take care of you, I got, they filled it up with oil for me, bar oil. It came with a case, a bar case that I put on my other chainsaw and it came with the charger and I've just been dying to use it. And so I'm very grateful that today it's not hot. I'm not gonna have a heat stroke. So I just gotta chap up and then get this thing started. I do have the manual down here, but it's weird not having like my screwdriver wrench for it or a gas can, but I'm excited. So let's see if this is worth it. I'm gonna try this on these logs that are already downed. I have my hard hack, so I'm gonna try and fall some trees later, but I don't wanna to get too excited too quick, so I'm already really excited. I haven't pushed start or nothing, looked at the manual. Just on, safety on or off, off. Oh, hang on, let me put it back on. With my other one that's identical but gas powered, they're about the same weight. They feel the same. One might be a pound or two heavier, but feel pretty much similar. Take the battery out, very light. Then it's, but you can't do nothing without the battery. And I also like, I love when battery tools have these. Can you see it? Yeah, you can tell how much juice you got. Love those. Both of them are that way, 40 volts, I think. It says I gotta turn this off, turn it on, push these, and this is like a turbo button. That's what I've really been excited to try. But I don't wanna try it on this. I do know with the other tools that are battery operated, when you do the turbo mode, you go through the battery a lot quicker. And this right here is for the chain. So it's why I don't need the normal like screwdriver wrench thing. Just turn it, turn it. That's for the bar oil. So I don't need any tools, hopefully knock on wood. But yeah, just getting used to moving on up. Safety's off. Power's on, the green light. Let's see, because I haven't done this yet. I like it. This little guy has a lot more power than I thought. I, you've seen, I've used the Ego one, the blade, the chain stinks, have to always sharpen it still, it's never sharp enough. But this has power, I'm not even using the turbo. And I will have to remember, I'll have to train myself to turn the power off or I'm gonna just never have a battery charged when I need it. But yeah, these are from Wild Cherry Tree. So it's a good hardwood, not like all the alders that I'm used to dropping. So it's a little thicker, but yeah, I just, Cut right through it. It's a new chainsaw, so I'm gonna cut this log until I can't cut it no more. Safety off. Nope, now it is. <laughs> Boom. I'm gonna have to move the camera, hold on. Move you with me. So that's good. Bitching. Ooh, that 
that shit off quick. I like it. Now I gotta turn the power off so I don't drain the battery. Oh yeah, still at four bars. I just cut four pieces of firewood. I'm gonna kick the camera and try and find a tree that I can fall without having brush in the way. But oh yeah, I'm not done yet, guys. We're gonna see if we got my husband's money worth. He must have had a heat stroke. He's like, go get it. You've been talking about it. I wasn't gonna question him. I took his money. I had to cover the tax and I got a new toy. I'm at the cluster. I hate this setup, but it needs to come down. So I just wanna open all this up. I'm gonna try and drop this guy first. These guys have already been cut. I did have the little ego uh, branch trimmer to try and make it so they'd fall. But no, now I got more obstacles. Well, I definitely have the hard hat. I'm gonna try this guy first live tree with the new chainsaw. Put the guitar button on. If you see the brown spots, the dirt, I dug up some ferns so there's less obstacles as I'm dropping trees. the chainsaw's fault right here because it's cut but that it's a plus just grabbing this I always got a rope by me so hopefully I could pull it around it so I can get out of the way kind of wanted it around the other way but oh well take the first right muscles to do this or if the rope's strong enough, I just don't want to get in the way. Boom! Safely got it down. That's great. This guy, hang on. Let me undo the camera, show you what I'm working with. Can see this guy? The next one that I could drop, then it's tangled in though. So this is definitely an effing cluster. I don't know if I'm going to cut more today. I probably will. But I want to give my two cents. It's going to be more than two cents about this chainsaw. I flip and love it. If I would have bought that one first, I probably wouldn't have bought the gas powered one. But I'm glad I have two. So when I do get one stuck, I got another good reliable chainsaw to get me unstuck. There's only two kind of downfalls to this battery one and it wouldn't put me off from buying it. The only thing, the bar, it's like real narrow. I can't put my magnet wood, firewood measure on it. Again, I would find ways around it because it's that dope. And then the other thing is with the gas powered one, I always sharpen the chain when I put gas in it. And being I put gas in this, or I don't put gas in this, I guess when the battery's dead is when I'll sharpen it. 
but that's the only two downfalls I could say about the battery powered one. And those aren't downfalls. Those are just now that I have them and I'm used to them and I have certain things I do with them. Those are just things that I can't do with the battery that I can with the gas. But again, it's awesome. I love it. I haven't, I might have to cut down one more tree so we can see what the turbocharger button does because I still haven't pushed that. So let me find something I can cut and we'll see how turbo it is. So I'm not gonna end it yet. I gotta clean this up and then we'll find something to turbo. I'll be back guys. I'm gonna try and cut this rotten branch off right here. Hopefully the camera's right there good. Then I'm gonna try and cut another one off on the back side, and I'm not sure where it will go. So I don't wanna take out the GoPro because the husband's happy. I just got a new chainsaw and I don't want him to be like, well crap, I need to buy a new GoPro now. So this one I'm not gonna turbocharge. You're just gonna cut it normal, the branch and then that branch. You're not cut yet. are all tangled. I think I'm going to cut that guy first. I definitely need a hard hat for this one. I pushed the turbo button. I got a green light. Let's see what happens. because it just sliced like butter. It was wonderful, guys. Turn the power off. Hang on, I'm gonna get my little baby chainsaw that I always have. So I'd rather get that stuff than the new one. You know, a little like $60 Amazon special. Again, I'd rather get this stuff than the Husqvarna 2.0. I think it's cut all the way, but it's not falling. It's done. I'm going to keep the camera, guys. I have a lot of stuff to clean up. And again, this Husqvarna 18 inch power axe flipping awesome. So if you're thinking about getting a battery powered one, this dude's awesome. Because at first I thought battery, it's not going to have the power of a gas one. It's why I went with the gas one first. But oh no, this one has plenty of power. And when I push the boost button, it's got more power than the gas. And with all my cutting, I still have all my battery says it's still full. So I can keep on cutting until my heart's content, it looks like. But I'm very pleased with it. And if you get it, I hope you'll be just as pleased, if not more. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you. If this video wasn't too bad, please give me a like. Give me a subscribe. You don't even have to watch any more of my videos. But a subscribe and a like would be greatly appreciated. And to those that already do, thank you.